Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to review a book called Food Junkies. So it's The Truth About Food Addiction um, by Vera Tarman, MD with Philip Ward Dell. It looks like this. And it's about, I'll read the back of it, overeating, binge eating, obesity, anorexia, and bulimia. Food Junkies. The Truth About Food Addiction tackles all of these in discussing the complex, poorly understood issue of food addiction from the perspectives of a medical practitioner and dozens of survivors. What exactly is food addiction? It is possible to draw a hard line between indulging cravings for comfort food and engaging in substance abuse. For people struggling with food addictions, recognizing their condition to say nothing of gaining support and advice remains a frustrating battle. Built around American science and the experiences of people suffering and recovering from food addictions, Food Junkies offers practical information on how to beat food addiction. It offers a knowledgeable and friendly guide to the goal of food serenity. Um, she is a Vera Tarman is a medical practitioner with a specialty in addiction medicine. And um, yeah, so it talks about. It's really fascinating. It's very interesting because it doesn't just talk about people's stories and struggles with food addiction. It talks about like the scientific, bi biological, medical part of food addiction and explains it. And talks about like the chemicals in our brain that are like, you know, responsible for these things that happen to us. Chapter one is about eating, eating, eating. What is the problem with me? Um, I just like to eat chapter two, chapter three, sugar makes me happy, next, so what exactly is food addiction, chapter five, are you a food addict, um, chapter six, addiction or eating disorder, then, um, and then it talks about the tragic story of a food addict, the stages of food addiction, um, it talks about some anorexic people's stories, it talks about, um, what do I do now, how to stop the food, switching addictions, and then finding food serenity, and then a happy ending one day at a time. And it's amazing. It talks about, like, I highlighted some stuff in the books that I liked. Um, like, our message is simple. If you see yourself as a food addict, you must treat your trigger foods as a drug. Um, if a particular food is your drug, any portion, large or small, will ignite insat insatiable cravings. Um, I knew that thinking about snow cones or anything edible was dangerous for someone carrying 30 extra pounds. Um, one day, after a long day of working too long and a long night of eating too much, I had a heart attack myself. Chemically dependent on food, um, I was sure it was caused by overeating a specific food, which was wheat. And then um, someone said, you eat like I used to drink, so there's a little wheat intolerant person. And then food addiction results when the enjoyment of food has become so europhic that it dominates our natural impulse to stop when we are full. When the pleasure of eating should be diminished, if the pleasure continues beyond our natural status, sat satay, satation, point, something has gone wrong in our hormonal and neurochemical complex that governs our behavior. When I stop and ask myself, what am I really hungry for? The answer is always, I'm hungry for balance. I'm hungry to do something other than work. And then, um, 25% of the female population at Canadian universities um, has an obsession with weight and food. Mmm. The trick was simply not to start eating these trigger foods because I would just stop, restart, start again, and yeah. And then my drug is cheap, the cheapest of all drugs, which is food. And then my drug is everywhere, and my friends, family members, and colleges all are, co colleges, colleagues, um, are all users. As in, she's talking about how everyone she knows is a user of this drug, which is food, which can be sugar, and... Yeah, because sugar is a drug, um, and we all eat it, so, and no one knows really about it too well, like, they're just like, oh, it's sugar, it's harmless, you know, you know, everyone eats it, everyone likes it, you know, we all crave it, so, but no one's aware of it. When we consider that more than 60% 
of our um, of the population is overweight, it is clear that there is something happening on great scale that is affecting a majority of people. And yeah, so this book is really good. It's pretty depressing, but it's a it's a wake up call, people. This food junkies book, it ain't playing. Like it's gonna smack you right in the face, back into reality, and it's so helpful. It's so helpful. It's it makes everything less confusing, and you know you know you can just read this book instead of having to do confusing, frustrating research on the computer. So I would definitely get it, and um, that's all I have to say about the book, honestly. Um, I think I said enough about it, but yeah. Okay, bye guys.